What's happening? What's happening? This is Rickma right here. R I C K M A. Yeah, Rickma. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna give you my review, thoughts, and opinion on how I believe that this year's Royal Rumble. Like, if you've seen it, bro, I don't know, bro. This this was like, bro. This is just like not my favorite one, bro. Like, it's just garbage, bro. Like, how... Let me tell you. Let me start off with the... What was the first match? Alright. There were some highlights. I ain't gonna cap. The first match, it was the Men's Royal Rumble. So, they're already starting off good, bro. I liked that the Men's Royal Rumble. I feel like that that Royal Rumble carried out the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? They that match, that whole 30 man battle royale match carried the whole pay per view, bro. Like literally, bro. Um. So you had like mad the guys wrestlers were just throwing people out, bro. That's what I like to see, bro. Cause that just gets a lot of excitement out of me. I'm just like, dang, this man got eliminated, bro. You know what I'm saying? And who would have had not thought, bro, that Brock Lesnar, bro, this man was coming out, bro. He was eliminating people back and forth, bro. Yo, he was taking, like, I think, like, five or four people out, bro, within, what, three or four minutes, bro? And then here comes Bobby Lashley, bro. Literally just freaking throws him out the ring, bro. And I'm like, what the fudge, bro? I'm like, what the heck is going on in here, bro? And then, bro, freaking Bobby Lashley gets eliminated as well, bro. I'm like, bro, the people that I was going for for this Royal Rumble, I was going for Cody Rhodes, um, Rey Mysterio, and Bobby Lashley. So when I saw him got eliminated so quick, so early, bro, I was kind of upset. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. And then when Rey Mysterio comes out, he didn't even came out, bro. He didn't even came out, bro. And I, as I was watching this, I was it was live on Peacock on Sunday. I said to myself and I said to my brother, bro. I was like, bro, he's injured, bro. He's legit injured, bro. Either he's injured or he's getting beat up by Dominic, bro. Sure enough, bro. The next opponent, bro, was Dominic, bro. Literally came out with his mask and everything, bro. I'm like, bro, what a douchebag for real, bro. Now, let me get to the surprises, bro. The surprises, bro. I don't know, bro. The surprises was just kind of underwhelming this year, bro. I mean, the only surprisingly surprise. <laughs> surprisingly surprised. The only surprise return was Booker T. He just came into the Royal Rumble. He did his super um dance move, the spinny joint. And then that means just gets eliminated as well, bro. As soon um as soon as he got into the match. And then Edge came back. I'm like, bro, isn't this like the fifth or sixth time he came back this year, bro? Like, what the heck, bro? And then what else? Who else came back? Um It's just that I, I feel as though that WWE, bro, they spoiled freaking Cody Rhodes' return, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I think they should have just kept that as a secret, bro. But instead, they were just... I guess they had to do what they got to do to um promote the Royal Rumble. You know what I'm saying? So, I guess you just throw Cody Rhodes in there. But I feel like they should have kept that as a secret. You know what I'm saying? That they could have, like, promote somebody else to promote the Royal Rumble. If that makes any sense. Um. Yeah, um, what I was saying... Yeah, then, yeah, he came back, and then freaking Logan Paul, bro, Logan Paul, bro, he does his, he does the most scandalous things that he could possibly ever do, bro, and then he comes back and wrestle, bro, and enters into the Royal Rumble, bro, I was so freaking mad, bro, like, bro, ain't nobody want to see Logan Paul at the Royal Rumble, bro, I don't know about you guys, but he don't deserve to be in there, bro, and I like how the whole internet, all of a sudden just forgot about what he did just because that crazy stunt move that he did with freaking ricochet bro like like bro i literally bro we literally saw way better things than that bro 
than what he did. Him and Ricochet did, bro. Like, come on, bro. That right there was not just... That move, that highlight was not all that, bro. Be honest, bro. Like, bro, that drink got me mad. And then, freaking Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins gets eliminated by him, bro. Like, what the heck is that, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the returns for this year's Royal Rumble was just underwhelming, bro. It was trash, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't... When it comes to the returns, bro... Nah, it was not my my favorite, bro. I just like how everybody's getting eliminated. There was a lot of people fighting and all that. Freaking Braun Strowman eliminated um Omos, bro. That was crazy, bro. And then what was the next match? Um, I think it was Bianca Belair and Alexa Bliss, bro. Bro, that match was so freaking predictable. Like, I'm being dead serious, bro. Like, you obviously know Bianca Belair is going to be winning that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you actually think and believe that Alexa Bliss is going to um take that boat from her, bro? That's why I said, bro, in my rant video, bro. WWE be coming out with the most predictable matches, bro. You know what I'm saying? That match, I was not a fan of, bro. I'm sorry, bro. What else? And then the Bray Wyatt match, the pitch... The Mountain Dew Pitch Black match, bro. I felt like that match was, like, kind of cool. I liked it that match. Because, you know, I'm a Bray Wyatt fan. I like how he just came out with that. That You could see, like, his whole face paint and everything, bro. The ring ropes were, like, glowing. You know, it was just, like, mad cool, bro. Neon style everywhere, bro. I love that match, in my opinion. I feel like that was, like, the second thing that was good about the Royal Rumble. And then, bro, the freaking... Who else? Um, I think it was the the women's Royal Rumble this time, bro. To me, my opinion, bro. I feel like, bro, WWE with this Royal Rumble, bro, they try so hard, bro, to break these freaking records, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, the Royal Rumble literally ended at twelve something midnight sharp, bro. Like, bro, I was literally felt so on the roam. With the women's Royal Rumble, bro. Like, I'm over here saying, oh my goodness, bro. When is this going to be done, bro? This joint taking forever, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you already know. I already knew that Rhea Ripley was going to win, bro. Rhea Ripley was going to win. You know what I'm saying? The only the only highlight that I have that I still remember about that women's Royal Rumble is when Nia Jax came back. Literally at number 30, bro. And then when she came into the, the whole ring, bro, <laughs> she over here coming in here all cocky and stuff, calling the other women wrestlers B-words and all that, bro. Like, girl, bro, just be quiet and do your match, bro. And all the 11 freaking girl wrestlers just freaking throws her out of the ring. Like, what the fudge, bro? All that talk for nothing, bro. Like, literally. Like, that drum was so trash, bro. Like, and then there was, like, barely, um, there was barely girls getting eliminated at the Royal Rumble, bro. Compared to the guys' match, bro, that joint was boring, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was not a fan of that match, bro. Like, that joint, to me, it felt too long, bro. They over here literally trying their best to put these new wrestlers to break these uh, Royal Rumble records, bro. Nah, bro. Not a big fan, bro. And then we already saw what the main event, bro. There it goes. Again, bro. Roman Reigns got to cheat, bro. He got to cheat again, bro. Like, I mean, who didn't know that, bro? You know what I'm saying? You go against Roman Reigns, bro. You already know what he's, what he's going to be doing, bro. You know what I'm saying? And who didn't know that Zami Zayn was going to betray him at some point, bro? Literally, bro. I saw that drink coming from a mile away, bro. Yeah, bro. If I could summarize this this Royal Rumble, bro, the only thing that I that I liked it and enjoyed was the men's Royal Rumble match. Obviously, Cody Rhodes won that, even though that was predictable. But that drink was kind of lit to me. And the Bray Wyatt match, him and LA Knight, bro. That match was, was good, in my opinion. But the whole rest, the rest of the show, the rest of the whole thing, bro. Not a huge fan, bro. I don't like it, bro, if you ask me.
like I said, bro, I'm gonna give wrestling, like I said in my rant video, bro, I'm gonna give wrestling this year, bro, my last chance, bro. The better Triple H better start doing doing good things, bro. Because if not, bro, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real disappointed, bro. Like they're gonna lose me. But anyway, let's see what WWE could do. I hope the elim Elimination Chamber and WrestleMania is good. Guys, what you think? Uh, comment down below your opinion about the Royal Rumble. Um, Did you saw it? Did you check it out? Um, Leave a like. Comment down below what you think of it. Share with your friends and family. This is Rickma signing off. Peace. Take care. Signing off. Take care.